Back at Neville Arena, where Alabama has won now eight straight in this rivalry against Auburn, 88 to 57, the final score. Roger Hoover now pleased to be joined by the head coach of the Crimson Tide, Christy Curry, and coach Roll Tide, a 7-0 start for this ball game. Your team never looked back. What led to the good start here at Auburn? Um, just great discipline, you know, tremendous amount of energy. I just thought we had more energy and effort um, than they had, and just a poise about us, you know, just a tremendous toughness. We, the word for the day was toughness. Um, they chose it, and when you come into this environment, what an amazing crowd. You know, it was Alumni Day. Over 3,000 in here it was where Orange Day. Um, but Crimson prevailed. It was a really fun environment. It really was. As I mentioned, the offense got going early. The defensive intensity, it seemed like, was there from the start as well. Yeah, I mean, just a really good job of going out and executing the game plan, understanding, um, knowing your personnel. We call it KYP. Did a really good job of keeping them in front of us, uh, making them shoot over us. Um, you know, I thought our zone was really effective, which I didn't think they – you know, they expected as much as we did. And, you know, I thought we did a really good job of changing our defenses out of timeouts and on dead balls, which threw them a little bit out of sync. But tremendous job on the boards. I thought we shared the ball. Just so many positives today. And our kids have been through some adversity lately. And I love the way they uh, stepped up today. Speaking of some adversity, we saw Megan Abrams leave late in the first quarter, did not return to the game. How's she feeling after this one? Yeah, I mean, just get her evaluated tomorrow. I'm a little worried about it, but um, what a tremendous start for her today. thought she did a phenomenal job. thought our bench was the difference. Uh, Carly Weathers really stepped up. Ryan Cobbin stepped up. Just everybody. I can't say enough about our bench today. Loyal. Um, but, uh, you know, just hoping Meg's, Meg's okay. We'll get her evaluated tomorrow and get back to T-Town. Even Brittany Davis was shaking up for just a little bit, but in the midst of that, puts together another plus 20 performance for you with 24 points. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure. I think um, we're evaluating that, too. Just didn't want to take a chance there late. I think she probably could have gone. But it's going to be good for us to have a bye week in the situation we're in with a few injuries and some bumps and bruises. So I think that'll be good for us to have a bye week and be able to get our feet back under us before we head to a really good Ole Miss team. You've had some good winning streaks before against Alabama rivals, notably against Tennessee and now against Auburn. This is eight straight time for the longest in school history. What does that mean to you? That's awesome. I mean, it's a credit to the kids that have been a part of this, um, and it's a credit to the, the staffs. I mean, it's a lot bigger than me. And, um, but boy, that's pretty awesome because I know when we first took the job, whew, it wasn't that way. So I think that shows another step in, in the process of, of what we're trying to do and you know to represent Alabama today the way our kids did um, everybody in the Crimson Tide Bama Nation ought to be pretty proud of this group pretty Lots special. Lots to be proud of. Well thank you so much coach for joining us. We'll see you next Sunday in Oxford. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Thanks Roger.